All right, Capricorn. Thank you for being here, Capricorn. It's L. I'm going to do your weekly reading. I hope that you had a really good weekend. Let's get into this. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Um, let's jump into this. Okay, so Capricorn, you could be dealing with someone from your past. You could have some childhood trauma or someone you're dealing with has childhood trauma. Um, you feel like someone is a soulmate. It feels good to be with them. You feel like someone, you know, is in your system. You know, they, uh, it's systemic now. Um, it's hard to get rid of them. You feel like it's harmony with this person or vice versa. This is how they feel about you or it's mutual. All right. So Capricorn, what's coming towards you this week? What's coming toward the Capricorn this week? All right. The four of discs. So stability, all right? Um, maybe you'll have a status change here. Um, something is, is shaping up. All the work that you did in the Two of Pentacles is showing now in the Four of Pentacles where it's stable. Also, this talks about maybe sometimes it could be stagnation. Sometimes it could be um, someone wanting to gridlock it right here at the Four of Pentacles. Not wanting something to grow with the Four of Pentacles. Um, yeah, stagnating the growth or the energy of. This is also someone wanting to pigeonhole the relationship right here. Maybe you can like dominate, exert their force or their will on you. Some of you feel stuck in a toxic situation. Some of you feel like somebody is clingy or they feel this way about you. They feel like something is suffocating them. Again, an energy of being stuck or something being pigeonholed. This could be in business. This could be in your home life. This could be with your children or maybe um, something about your a mother and children, maybe a women. I don't know if somebody's taking a relationship to the next status, the next uh, level here. Let's see what the advice is for you. Let's see what the advice is for Capricorn. All right. All right. The Prince of Discs. So the Knight of Pentacles. You got a lot of, um, of your energy. So be unmovable. Be unwavering. Don't be moved here. Take a stance. Um, wait. Wait for the energy to shift. You know what you have to offer. Um, don't rush anything. It looks like you won't with the Knight of Pentacles here. Also talks about hard work, efficiency, getting something done. Um, some of you are not being so easily moved by... I don't know, you fill in the blank. Um, some of you, the reliability is here. You are stable. You are reliable. Or something in your life has been reliable and or stable. It talks about um, being dependable here. Hard work and efficiency will pay. Hard work and um, dedication will pay off. That's the advice here. Um, be unchanging. I don't know if something wants you to change or somebody wants you to change their position or vice versa. What's the outcome here for Capricorn this week? What's the outcome? What's the outcome for Capricorn? the outcome okay the eight of swords all right so i don't know if there is um like yeah like some, someone's trying to pigeonhole you somebody's trying to put you in a place where you feel like you don't make the decisions here maybe with this merger or um and getting what you want somebody wants you to compromise or compromise your position some of you are just being very dogged. You're just not moving. Just being rigid. Um, 
something about something going on over and over again. I'm thinking about something over and over again here. Um, I don't know if somebody's waiting for something to change and then they'll move. But it's like when you've given up agency about the, the situation. Like, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to make a decision. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to do. I'm going to let them do. I'm going to let them. You know, you're kind of letting someone else take the lead here. I don't know if someone else is doing that or if this is you, Capricorn. Um, but also feeling like you don't have a say. Feeling like you don't have... Um, you have a dog in this fight, but you're feeling like you're just out for the count. You're feeling like you don't matter. Or something that you're saying doesn't matter. If you've done something over and over again or you said something over and over again, but it's not mattering. It's not hitting home with someone. Um, maybe there has been like some, tr some trouble, some problems. Somebody's just being unmovable, unwavering. And, and there's lack of... Uh, or the in inability to compromise, to come to an agreement here, but still someone's wanting to salvage the relationship, but only on their terms of, of this is what I want to do. Again, that four of pentacles is trying to dominate the situation here. I don't know what's going on here. It's like somebody's trying to make someone, um, it's like a bully, but it's not like your traditional bully where I'm going to hurt you or anything like that. It's more of the, I just won't move. I'm not going to move. I'm not going to do anything. I, so it's like, you know, it's a different type of bullying. It could be in your finances also. Or someone could be trying to um, maybe bully you for money. Or you're not moving or you're not giving any more money in terms of some relationship, in terms of some uh, connection, in terms of some, you know, stability. Um, you feel like you've provided enough and you don't feel like you need to give any more. Um, your finances could be changing for the better or the good. Um, whatever you're, you've been committing yourself to, something about cause and effect. Um, if you've been putting effort into your financial returns, then you won't see that. If you have not, then, you know, and maybe some of you want to save Maybe because you've done something over and over again. Um, if this is not finances, then it's love. You've done something over and over again. And you're trying to save the connection by way... Or somebody's trying to save the connection. But they, they, it might be, they might be unwilling to compromise. Just keep your thoughts positive and elevated. Um, this might be a new time to... Some of you might want to start a new business. You don't know if you have finances for this. I mean, that might need to reduce your expenses. Um, you could win a settlement. You know, it could be a favorable outcome. You could settle some debt. There could be an investor, but somebody is um, not budgeting in terms of what they want or the return on their investment or what they want from the situation or from you. Um very interested week for you capricorn it could be money centered um the eight of swords here maybe you're thinking about some offer over and over again like is it a good offer should i take this amount of money should i take these finances should i just go ahead and settle that's for some of you Okay, Capricorn, thank you for being here. All links are below if you want to purchase your own personal reading. Um, you can go to the website or you can text the question to the number below. If you have a question, should I take this money? Should I leave this? Um, should I take the offer? You can text that to the number below. Pay for your question on your mobile device um, and receive the answer to your question. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Uh, thank you, Capricorn. Have a really good week.